would say the times are very vulnerable. Uh, in fact, if you look after COVID and there's been a recent report which says every three and a half years, we would see some sort of disturbance in the supply chain. And if you, if you keep looking at it, uh, that trend is going to come down. So maybe after two and a half years, we'll have a problem. Now, after COVID, nobody uh, you know, thought about the Russia-Ukraine war, but that happened. So I think because of it, the role of technology becomes very important. And uh, the world needs to be connected now. You need to be connected with your suppliers. So uh, you know, one, of the, one of the things in SAP, if you look at it, is business network uh, of how basically you can connect with your business part partners, your suppliers, uh, your logistics providers, you know, all across the network. And uh, that is basically making it touchless, faceless, paperless, uh, and getting you the most required visibility into your supply chain. So, so I believe technology is helping a lot, and uh, there are there are many areas which are basically improving the life uh, of a, probably a supply chain practitioner. Risk. I, I, if, the, if I pick that up first, I think it, that's becoming a very important factor, I would say. Uh, how many organizations as of today, you know, if you, if you ask them, how many organizations can tell me how many of their suppliers are going to be bankrupt in the next one year? And that's a very difficult question. Uh, a lot of companies are finding an answer to it, and I believe being proactive is the way to do it. Now, if you look at SAP Ariba, uh, we do have solutions called supplier risks which basically are going to give you that visibility before in time. So I don't want to wait for the post facto, but I want to do it pre facto. I need to be proactive. And therefore, technology is going to play a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, important uh, characteristics in order to make your supply chain resilient and probably have that visibility come in and make it more proactive, I would say. kind of trends what we are seeing in procurement and and I believe uh, when I when I go back to my house and let's say I want to order something for myself if I want to order a simple thing like a pen uh, I order it through let's say a Flipkart or an Amazon I get it the next day but when you go in your company do you feel the same happens and absolutely not right so that's gonna take a week uh, or, or two or two weeks to get you a simple thing like a pen which is worth five rupees ten rupees is it worth the wait? Uh, and therefore, even if I'm traveling and sitting here with you today, maybe I'm on leave, can I order those things from my phone? You know, can I make it user-friendly? Why, why shall the consumer get the consumer-grade experience? Why not my own entire, entire organization, people inside the company, they also get that consumer-grade experience? And I think that becomes important. And I think uh, on top of everything, you know, uh, we should not forget the return on investment, which the procurement can get you. Remember, we are, procurement is the only department uh, in an organization which can save you money. All other departments would come to you and they would ask you to sign a check. HR would ask for a paycheck, marketing would ask for an expense check, or someone else would ask for something else. But procurement is somebody who can negotiate a better price and get you your return on investment. And I think that's where procurement is going to play a very key role in order to make sure that they participate on the desk of the CEO as well. I think very high on agenda of all the CEOs, MDs, uh, they are talking about sustainability. So if, if you look at UN defined 19 top sustainability criteria, 10 of them are getting impacted by pure digitalization of supply chain and procurement. And that's the power we carry today. You know, look at a very simple example, uh, an initiative by government of India, which says any business over 10 crore rupees turnover has to do e-invoicing. Now consider in your organization, I stop printing paper for POs and invoices. And if I just stop printing 2 million pieces of paper, I'm going to save 225 trees. I'm going to save half billion uh, BTU of energy. I'm going to save a million uh, uh, Qsec to my water table index, so on and so forth. And that's where sustainability 
lies at the core of uh, supply chain and procurement transformation. So absolutely high on agenda. Uh, or even if I put it the other way around, do you know how much of your spend is coming through Green Channel? Do you know how much of your spend is coming through women-owned organization? Do you know how much of your spend is coming through minority-owned organization or tribal areas? We have no idea today of that. You know, we, we all are saying maybe let's go for electric uh, cars and then we are talking about electric batteries. Yeah, but have you ever realized where that battery nickel cadmium, etc., is coming from. We don't look at it. And it reminds me of a movie called Blood Diamond. Uh, if you have seen that movie, you will soon see a movie on blood battery because it is happening in Africa. And if you see that, uh, there was a documentary, I forgot the name of the documentary. If you see that documentary, that will tell you how scary it is, the, the, the way people are actually mining those components for, for electric cars. So it's a, it, it is at the core of the thing, but then I need to have visibility into my supplier base, right? So my tier one supplier, I know them very well. But how many, have com how many companies that know their tier two suppliers? That is supplier of their supplier, or supplier of their supplier of their supplier. And uh, just as per a report, only 1% companies have visibility into tier three suppliers. So sustainability is right on top. Uh, can technology make it happen? Can we do it better? And the answer is yes. And that's what we are doing at SAP, uh, you know, uh, helping uh, companies with technology in order to ma maintain a sustainable profile.